So yeah, I mean this this is an area where people are tired of the curtain between the public, their funds, and straight answers. I mean, police get frustrated when we don't give them straight answers. And uh, we get very frustrated when we don't get straight answers from the police. I'll give you an example. Yesterday in Round Rock, over by the 45 overpass, there was someone looked to be ready to jump off. There were cop cars all over, emergency vehicles all over. Thousands of dollars of public paid workers, taxpayer paid public servants, okay? They call them public servants. First responders, dare I say. And so you got, you know, thousands of dollars being spent on an operation involving somebody possibly jumping off an overpass. This is an extremely high overpass. This isn't like a 30-foot overpass. This is like an insanely high overpass. And there's hundreds of people, I don't know, 400, 500 people in multiple parking lots watching this for a half hour. So the next day, a friend of mine calls up the police station. Hey, whatever happened with all that? And uh, we're told, huh, YouTube's just worthless, just advertisement. We are told that, uh, well, if you want to find out what happened, you need to file a police uh, uh, formal freedom of information request form. You mean you can't just tell us what happened? No, we can't do that. Well, no, no, that'd be too easy. You see the see the BS. See the BS. And they report a few things on their websites, but they report very little. I can't tell you how many, you know, arrests I've seen that nothing's reported. Nothing is reported. Um, it's just, you know. We're treated like it's none of our business. Well, wait a minute. Who pays your salary? I do? The local residents do? The courts is our business. You know, the Freedom of Information Act is just to, uh, looks like it's really to hide things, make it harder to get information. Information is not free. You have to, you know, to get your freedom, you, ob you obviously have to fill out a government form. To exercise your Second Amendment right, you obviously have to get a gun license. To properly use your boat, you have to go get it registered. You see the trend here, folks? And they can't give you a straight answer. In your own community. This is just pathetic. Now, I don't know, am I the only one that's tired of this kind of stuff? I mean, at some point we got to change things. We really do. Thank you.